Hey guys, Captain Foley here, and it is time for another Eagle Moss product review. Now, last time we touched on the Star Trek Online series. We're continuing that today with number two in the series. This is the USS Chimera, which to me should have been number one in the series. This is kind of the quintessential Star Trek Online ship. This is the one you get with lifetime membership. Um, it is a fun design. One of my favorite designs of Star Trek ships, actually. I really like this design. Um, and it is fantastic. Um, as I said, I like the packaging on the Star Trek Online collection. They do a fantastic job at the packaging. Much better than the regular um, uh, uh, I was going to say Trek Yards. The original uh, Star Trek line from Eagle Moss. Um, so I, I really got to give them kudos for this. Uh, down here you've got the nice uh, ship uh, from the top there, uh, the USS Chimera NCC 97400. And it uh, looks really great on the bottom there. Nice window to see the ship in and overall just great packaging. You got the, the ships on the side. You got number two in the series again with the name and the registry number. Um, on the back you got what's inside the box, the book and the ship, and then the rest of the Star Trek online collection there, which looks really cool. I'm looking forward to more of these. Um, on the other side you got some uh, information on the ship, which is just straight from the magazine, which is inside, which is really nice. And again, this box is great because uh, it does have that book uh, bookshelf kind of look. You can throw it in a bookshelf and have number one, two, three, four, five all lined up with the, the uh, stats on the side. Or you can put this side out with the ships as well. Uh, it's another great way to display it. So love the, the design of the packaging and uh, looking forward to taking a look at this one. As I said, I'm super, super, super excited for this one. So let's get into it. Still think it should have been number one in the collection. Uh, so first thing we got is uh, become part of Star Trek. It's a Star Trek online uh, code that comes with it. Uh, this one gets you, captains can use this coupon code below to receive 50% off any tier 6 ship listed in Star Trek online Zen store. PC only, so not the consoles, but there it is there. Covering up my code, because I might need that. Um, but yeah, the same thing came with the first uh, one in the series, which was the Gagarin. So here we got the book. Um, on the top it says number two. Got a beautiful shot of the Chimera there, looking very nice. Um, you got the registry number down here. And of course, down here in the corner, we got some specs, which we're going to read right now. Active 25th century, length 459 meters, Commander Captain Nog. And Aaron Eisenberg, rest in peace. Um, we really miss you and your character, but there you go. So Nog is the captain of this vessel. Uh, opening it up, uh, we got an index here of everything that's in the book. Over here we got a nice beautiful shot of the ship from the bottom actually. Uh, that's the bottom of the ship there. And uh, of course how to place it on the stand. And on the bottom there we got some of the uh, close-up detailed pictures of um, the, the 3D model that they used. So. Opening it up, we got another great shot of this ship. It's so it's bulky, but I like the look of it. It's it's just such a cool looking ship. Um, and this goes on to say, uh, Jason Lee designed the Chimera, originally intending it to become the next version of the USS Enterprise. Although that didn't happen, the design took on a life of its own. So originally supposed to be one of the the next Enterprise, the F, um, before the uh, the Odyssey class kind of took that spot, but. Uh, next up, we got some great shots of it in-game. Up here it says, The Chimera's main shuttle bay provides a staging area for large-scale survey and re relief missions. Uh, powerful, four powerful nacelles allow the Chimera to cruise at high warp speeds for long periods of time. In tactical mode, the Chimera deploys a massive phaser lotus array, revealing a menacing visa visage. Vis visage. Visage. Yes. Um, down here it says the Chimera uses its power lotus to engage a squadron of renegade Kardashian ships. So again, um, some great shots of it from in the game doing its thing. And I do like the, the whole, um, what do they call it here, uh, ph phaser lotus arrays, which are very cool. Um, nice feature. Uh, next page is great. You got a fantastic orthos of the ship. And here, some more stats. It says Starfleet Heavy Cruiser, Heavy Destroyer, uh, length 458.7 meters, crew of 450, commissioned 2407. So 
it is a cool looking design. Uh, the side looks a little bulky and weird. I love the top, I love the bottom, I love the front and back views. They look fantastic. So um, these are really, really, really great. Um, next page, open it up and it's got designing the USS Chimera. Um, here we got some projection or some concept sketches and that says uh, the winning enterprise design by Adam Eel, uh, provided some new twists while maintaining the ship's classic profile and we actually featured Adam on our channel twice we've had two interviews with him talking about this design and uh, the Enterprise F from Star Trek Online so uh, down here we got some more uh, sketches of the Chimera class which look really cool uh, and that says um, Lee's initial sketches show two similar approaches with a variation of the dorsal configuration of the ship so some different vari variations there, which is neat. Uh, next page. Some great shots again. Um, here we got kind of like the, the beauty shots of it from the game. Jason Lee's final contest, contest submission depicts several views of the uh, Megalanic class USS Enterprise NCC-1701F. Um, <clears throat> over here we got a nice close-up of the deflector array, which is quite a unique design. After making his submission, Lee got feedback from other fans and continued to iterate on his designs. And then there's a nice painting that uh, Lee did of the ship there, looking quite nice. Lee painted this image of his Enterprise design in flight over Jupiter after the contest had ended. Um, so we'll go to the next page. And we got Star Trek on lo online lore uh, talking about Captain Nog. So um, some really great shots of the ship with DS9 there in the background. You got Captain Nog here, and uh, it says here that Chimera departs Deep Space Nine to engage the the Herc. Nog in 2375, wearing his lieutenant uh, uniform, Nog was promoted to lieutenant after the end of the Dominion War. On several occasions, Nog at Nog acted as an emissary to his fa for his father, Grand Nagus Rom. The Nagus staff uh, demonstrated his authority. So, it's a really good story in STO about uh, with Captain Nog. So, uh, there we got some other uh, shots from the, the the online story or the online story. Quark, Nog, Brunt, and Leek take over uh, behind a take cover behind a console during their mission to retrieve the Sword of Kaelas from the Iconians in 2410. Uh, Captain Nog in his duty uniform as of 2410. The white shoulders of his uniform denote that he is in command of a starship. And down here we got two pictures. Uh, Quark and Nog confront the rogue Iconian Tiket. And Captain Nog has uh, used his position and experience experience to advocate his inclusion for inclusion, compassion, and cross-cultural understanding. Blah. Sorry today, I'm kind of tongue-tied. I don't know why. Uh, over here we got the in-game stats with all of the um, uh, things that the, the ship is capable of, the weapon slots and things like that. So you can take a look at that. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool look, little ship. I do have one in Star Trek Online. haven't really used it yet because I just recently became a lifetime member. So... Here we got issue number three, the USS Andromeda, which I love that design. Uh, a nice take on the Galaxy class design, but it is so cool looking. I'm so looking forward to getting that one. Uh, down here we got more of just Eagle Moss Shop, um, which Trek Yards code discount or discount code Trek Yards 10 to save yourself some money. So check that out. Click the link down below to go there, though. You gotta click the link in the description to go to the Eagle Moss site and then use the discount code. It helps us, it helps with the, the channel and just monitoring traffic from our site so on the back you've got the uh, ship from the uh, the top here um, which looks great um, and uh, I do like that the look of that ship um, so and actually I just made it I realized I made a mistake because I went back and took a look uh, this first page it is from the top I was just looking through the viewfinder it looked like from the bottom but it's not it's the top so I correct myself there um, but 
Great little magazine. I do love the fact that the Star Trek Online magazines, like the Battlestar Galactica line that Eagle Moss has, the magazines fit in the box. That's one of the things that I don't like about the regular line. The boxes are too plain looking and the magazines are huge and they're separate and uh, I haven't got a lot of the magazines because they ship separately sometimes or they don't have them when they send me the ship. Just kind of a pain. Whereas this, you know they're going to be included in the packaging. So, uh, speaking of, we'll get to the packaging. Again, nice little box tray that it comes in. And then it's just the standard Eagle Moss plastic um, to hold the ship um, in there. So, let us take a look. Ooh, ooh. My first time taking it out of the box. So, there it is in all its glory. Again, it's the standard uh, line size. It's kind of small. It's about the size it's smaller than my hand, but uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of a nice, a lot of nice attention to detail, and some really cool, um, really cool things on it. I like that deflector. So let's take a look at the model real quick here. Uh, looking at the the top of it, you got the the name USS Chimera, and then NCC nine seven four zero zero. You also got some um, cut in line details which are really nice uh, kind of add depth and dimensionality to it uh, lots of windows along the top little white windows and as i've said before i like the color schemes on these this is like a dark gray almost like a bluish gray um, but with um, some black highlights and accents which look really really great i do like the sto ships for that um, along the side you can see you got a uh, nice black stripe with again some windows in there and some escape pods looking really really nice uh, going up to the bridge um, lots of bulk and detail on the bridge I love that it's kind of inset but it's still on top of the saucer uh, definitely works and there's some nice detailing there as well um, escape pods and again that dark gray stripe kind of down the, the the dorsal there looks really really great um, and then some red striping back on the top of the impulse engines uh, just a nice little touch the small little things uh, flipping it over to the other side we got the registry number there um, again and uh, more details uh, again etched in lines nice black ring around the saucer and lots of escape pods a lot less windows on the bottom but there are windows along the edge here of the the rim there which looks really good i like that and the, so they're not on the flat under surface which always kind of confused me um going to the deflector it's a nice clear blue plastic in there and it looks really nice it's big it's it's a cool design it's kind of a non-standard take on a deflector and i like that a lot uh moving back to the secondary hull you got the nice um, pinstripe there with the Delta and again a lot of windows this is a big ship it's got a lot of bulk there a lot of bulk in the secondary hull and it looks really fantastic so kudos to them um, back of the ship you see the uh, blue impulse engines back there um, they're not red but I don't have a problem with that um, that doesn't really bother me too much uh, on the bottom there you got like probably an observation dome or something um, or like a 10 backwards I mean it wouldn't be deck 10 but you know a backwards facing bar or whatever it's highlighted in white and there's red striping around that and a nice lo long red stripe down the bottom of the secondary hull with the the um, escape pods and stuff there as well um, going to the struts the top and the bottom um, are very similar uh, you got the impulse engines built in there are red impulse engines on the back of the struts and then the red details on the top and on the bottom there, um, which look really nice. Moving to the top of the secondary hull though, real quick, you got the shuttle bay. The shuttle bay is right in there at the back and you got some nice shuttle bay markings there in yellow and red, which again, look really great. Like this is a, quite a nice model. Uh, moving to the nacelles from the side, you got, uh, I, I do love the four nacelle look on this. Uh, yeah, it still looks like a double nacelle ship from a distance, which is cool. Uh, you've got the inset details there with the round and the um, red dots there, which hold the two nacelles together, and uh, it just looks great. Uh, the nacelles, again, are very cool. Uh, the front of each of them has um, red clear plastic in there for the bizarre collectors. And uh, again, the really cool details on the side um, with the darker black or dark gray um, striping 
or accents, I guess. On the top, you've got the the Delta again with the uh, Federation banner, the uh, the stripe, and on there it does say very small, but it has USS Chimera and the registry number again on each nacelle at the top there. It's very hard to read because it is quite small because this is a large ship, uh, but that's cool. Um, the the grills are really nice. The the Warp grills are there. Are they are clear plastic? You hold them up to the light, and there's actually this element in here uh, does glow, and so do the back ones. They're clear plastic, uh, or blue colored clear plastic, but they have white um, striping on them, which really adds to the detail, and it looks really fantastic behind a light source. So, so that's it. So there you go guys, that is the Chimera. It is time to go take a look at it on the stand and finish up this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, this is a, one of my favorite ship designs and very, very neat. Um, looking forward to uh, playing this more in the game now that I am a lifetime member and actually have one because that's about the only way you can get one. Um, so anyway, let's head on over to the stand and Lotus Blossom Phaser Array it up. I don't, I don't think we can do that, but let's go over there anyway. So there we go. All right, guys, so here she is on the stand, and you can see the real attention to detail here. Um, lots of fantastic little elements that just all come together. And uh, it just looks really, really, really good. There's so much small little details on it, but they just all pop. And those are the glowing elements on the side there. You can actually see through those. Um, which looks really good. The stand, um, I thought initially it went locked on there, but it doesn't. It goes here, um, which is great. So if you put it on a lower shelf, it looks beautiful. This has got such a cool, unique design to it that it just really pops and looks beautiful on a low-level low shelf. You put it on an eye-level shelf, this is kind of where I'm not a huge fan of the look of it. Um, it looks a little bit bulky, like a, almost like a mega mouth shark or some kind of whale. It just seems a little odd, but that doesn't take away from the overall coolness of this model and this ship. It is just such a neat looking design. Um, if you put it on an upper shelf, you can get some really cool views of it as well, uh, depending which way you want to face it. Um, it d definitely has a lot of dimensionality and different uh, things to look at. So... Um, Display-wise, pretty much anything is good. I would, I would, I would prefer a lower shelf, honestly, um, but an upper shelf works just fine. Eye-level shelf would also be good, but um, anyway, that's where we are. So, guys, if you're interested in picking this thing up, by all means, click the link down in the description below. As I said, it helps um, keep a track of the traffic going there and where it's coming from, and it shows you that. Shows Eagle Moss that you guys love truck yards and are going through that way. Um, and you can pick this ship up and anything else in the store by using the discount code TREKYARDS10, which will save you 10% off anything in the store, including XLs, uh, Discovery Line, STO Line, regular ships. The only thing the code will not work on is pre-orders, so keep that in mind, guys. You can also buy, of course, Orville ships, Battlestar Galactica, whatever, with the Trek Yards code. Uh, and like I said, that is Trek Yards 10. So click the links down below to get to where you need to go and pick this thing up for yourself. So anyway, guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels, both Trek Yards and the Captain Foley personal channel. Uh, lots of cool content all the time and uh, looking forward to having you guys join the channel as well. So please do that. And don't con and please don't forget to check out other videos by us as well. As I said, we've got a lot of great content and we really like bringing this stuff to you. So anyway, guys, that is it for now. Hope you have a great day. It's Captain Foley signing off. Bye-bye.